recap Kentucky. Uh, first road win for us, an SEC victory was always important. I uh, felt like offensively when you rush the ball for 400-plus yards, that's always exciting. Uh, two guys went over 100 yards, and Jeff and Chris, and uh, but really blocked well up front, played very physical on the line of scrimmage. Uh, had a 99-yard drive to be able to flip the field, come off the goal line. Obviously, the 84-yard run was huge by Jeff. It was well blocked uh, inside to the perimeter, but I thought our down blo downfield blocking was outstanding and finishing some runs, and that's really what creates explosive runs for you. Heading into Alabama, again, I've got great respect for Nick and, and the job he does. I wouldn't be probably standing here today if it wasn't the opportunity he gave me at LSU to be a position coach and then naming me the coordinator. Uh, again, philosophically on the same page as far as, you know, what we want to be defensively uh, from an identity standpoint. But the guy does a great job of managing his program top to bottom from recruiting philosophically offense, defense, and special teams. And I got great respect. When you turn the film on, you see a, a physically tough football team that plays with fundamentals. And that's what he is, and that's what he preaches every day, and it certainly carries over on film as far as who they are and what they are. And I know there will be a lot of uh, – you know, ask if there's an advantage. There is no advantage. I mean, he knows me as well as I know him. So there is no advantage in this game. And thank goodness for the 90,000 people in the swamp and for the millions watching, he or I will not take a snap Saturday night. So that's the very positive thing in the game as we move forward here. Well, I think as much as anything, I mean, you know, uh, Nick never asked me to do anything as an assistant coach. He didn't do as a head coach from a work standpoint. As far as film preparation, from a recruiting standpoint, as far as evaluation and going out and recruiting, uh, you know, he's a guy that works extremely hard. He's got a great work ethic in what he does. And, and uh, so, again, I think that that as much as anything you attribute, uh, guys appreciate what he does from a head coaching position. And I think there's a lot of things. I think, you know, just, you know, program management, philosophically, you know, knowing who you want to be, uh, you know, offense, defense, special teams, identifying in the recruiting process what kind of player you're recruiting. Uh, from a critical factor standpoint, not just from what the speed and the height and the weight, but I think all the intangible qualities. I mean, I just think from a total program management a lot. Excuse the Star Wars reference, but you guys kind of have a master versus Padawan thing going on with you and Nick. I mean, what's the sentiment in that? And What's a Padawan? You don't, you've never seen Star Wars? Huh? You guys have a... <laughs> I watched Star Wars 1, and after that, I watched In Star Strikes Back, and that's it. I ain't seen nothing after that. Well, so I, I don't know what a Padawan is. You didn't call me a bad name, did you? <laughs> I don't speak French either. You guys have kind of a, a master versus student thing kind of going on. Is there any sentiment in that? I'm sure you learned a lot from Nick Saban. Sure. Can, can you talk a little bit about the sentiment and what your kind of mindset is facing? I'm sure My there's My mindset is to do a great job for the University of Florida on Saturday. 